when the best news you get from your agent is that he got you a starring as credit above the titles in a promotional short film, you might want to get new management. Uh, okay, I'll just go read a book or something. Oh no, it's a short film that actually does riff itself. Well, now what do I do? I'm just gonna buy my commentary if it riffs itself. Uh, maybe they'll dial it down. So the snoring makes the shoe in her hand go up and. Have the makers of this film ever slept before? I, Edie Michelson, being of sound mind and restless hand. What? Assure you that at 1.30 a.m. I'm not just fascinated with the time. The whole space-time continuum is bringing me down. Nor am I wide awake because of my husband Bob's snoring. It's a comfort, really. I know he has an early appointment. He's finally getting snipped. I'm not concerned about my seven-year-old Debbie or my nine-year-old David. Is she having an existential Anybody? crisis? Look at me. Do I look like the type of woman who doesn't know her own mind? You look nothing like Courtney Love. Oh, right you are. Oh, I know now what's keeping me awake. Two hours ago, I didn't. Uh, I was kidding about the space-time continuum. Stop messing with that. It's dangerous. I'm an early to bed, and most nights I'm sound asleep by 10.30. This night, here I am tossing and turning. Because tonight I was out of gin. I finally decided some milk and cookies might help. Of course, I thought milk and cookies cured yeast infection, so don't go by my opinion. Uh, I don't want the Keebler elves to see my hooters. I better bundle up. Dead encyclopedia salesman stacked like cordwood. Junior's killing again. Now Kirk, Spock, and McCoy will show up so the aliens can see if insomniac housewives are worthy to survive the destruction of their planet. This couldn't be, but it was. A kitchenless kitchen. I did what any normal red-blooded American woman would do. I shot first and asked questions later. Let God sort it out. <laughs> Relax, Edie. Everything's all right. Everything's not all right. The pills were supposed to make the voices stop. Over here, Edie. Who are you? Where are you? It's not really important. Aw, oh, the credits gave the narrator oh, low self-esteem. Ah, this is important. But you must be tired of standing. Here. Oh no, it's a minimalist production of the Glass Menagerie. Milk and cookies, you said? Your internal thoughts are no longer private, Edie. Now, Edie, about the kitchen. That's a good place to start. What happened to my kitchen? Was it ever your kitchen, Edie? All your kitchens are belong to us. My kitchen, I want it back. But wouldn't you rather have the kind of kitchen you've always wanted and always needed? With a kill floor? A dream kitchen? You could call it that. <laughs> if you're a rube. Oh, wouldn't. Go ahead, amaze me. I'm quite sure you'll amaze yourself. Now? Anytime. Are they flirting? My dream kitchen. Maybe you see it, I don't. Well, that's because you haven't uh, planned it yet. Me plan a kitchen. I'm a girl. Oh, I wouldn't know where to start. Well, I start with you. Retile well, your forehead. It's your kitchen, isn't it? Oh, you mean how I operate in a kitchen or would like to? Exactly. Incidentally, had enough to eat. Hint, hint. <laughs> I forgot all about it. Then no, do not give a bored housewife a notebook and pencil. That's how Twilight Ready? happened. Have we learned nothing? Aim and fire. Shoot okay. me before I write sparkly vampires. To about you in planning your kitchen. First of all, cooking. Avoid it. You're the type who's anxious to get the cooking over with so you can do something else. Like crystal meth. Kitchen is the only answer. On the other hand, if you truly enjoy tempting the family with new dishes, you'll want one of the two basic types of cooking centers. Stifling and soul crushing. Your kitchen definitely planned around Stove your gets NPR. interest in cooking. Then, if you do a lot of sewing, plan a sewing and mending center, too. If you do a lot of hallucinogens, well, that would explain quite a bit, wouldn't it? 
or a management center, headquarters for all your Yes, that's when place or show in the fifth race at Hialeah. Planning meals, keeping records. See, she's being wiped out of existence. Stop it with the space-time continuum. It's dangerous. You may include the laundry for step-saving convenience. Consider a toilet also for step-saving convenience. I suppose, I suppose a lot of people are doing that today. Doing what? Uh, I'm sorry, I stopped paying attention. I'd really prefer a separate laundry room, if that's all right. Well, the whole idea is to plan your kitchen the way you want it. Are you even listening? Cabinets. Few women like reaching for things, but some would rather reach than do a lot of stooping. Hmm. Good for the hips, it said. Probably by a man. No man has said Shopping? that once maybe ever. Like getting out to market two or three times a week. Or maybe it's a chore you prefer doing in a big way once a week. That's the current trend. You have but the strange way, desire to see the work. world outside. Same with your three basic work centers. Range, sink, and refrigerator. Some women like a cozy, ultra-efficient arrangement. So they marry rich. But maybe you like the wide open Oh, you mean spaces. the kitchen. If so, hang the official. Oh, we're following Billy around a family circus you cartoon. Your kitchen. Get the idea, Edie? The kitchen should fit me, not vice versa. And your family, too, of course. You have two children. That I know of. Me seven, David nine. And a husband. Well, of course. What are you implying? Is she married to a stand-up bass player? When you're busy getting dinner and the family is busy getting in your way. Just step on them. That's what I'd do. Don't look her in the eye. Don't look her in the eye. She'll never know if I don't look her in the eye. Act natural. I showered after. Just don't look her in the eye. Better plan for it. It can be very nice, this having the family comfortably near, provided they don't clutter your workspace. Yeah, you wouldn't want Maybe your workspace cluttered by those pesky humans right you gave birth to and sleep not, with. The kitchen opens up to the living room. We'll sleep next to. And how about outdoor meals? In, in the same room you as. If family like them enough, you should plan your kitchen to open directly on the outdoor eating space. Saves a lot of running back and forth. You might also want to knock down that giant wall enclosing your entire house. A puppet then show. And if relaxed in formal parties are popular at your house, you can plan a wide pass-through between the kitchen and the living room. Speaking of wide pass-throughs, keep that hussy Joan Harrison away from your husband. Children like to have friends in too, usually at the most inconvenient times. Ages 3 to 18. Older, it only gets more complicated. The best answer is a snack bar outside your workspace. Outside your zip code, if possible. Face it now, Edie. Whether you and Bob are entertaining friends or just yourselves, one sink isn't bigger than both of you. So don't try to bathe in it. So why not plan on a double sink arrangement? Or still better, two separate sinks. Still better, two that's separate a houses. To each his own. Right, Edie. Well, that's a general idea of things to consider regarding your family. Make sense? Mm. Avoiding them. You know something? What? I want my cookies back. Points involve cooking, eating, and entertainment, and that's my department. That's right. That's why Her rope is a giant printed circuit board. Make what possible? Well, a chance for you to get some enjoyment out of these activities, too. <laughs> I'll buy that point. Okay? Okay. Then let's talk about your kitchen. Enough of this dull oh, banter. We? Yes, but now let's get down to cases. You see, Edie, we've agreed on the importance of how you and your family like to live. Like lemmings. But out of all these considerations must come one overall kitchen plan. Otherwise, you're just well, wasting my time. Kitchen anyway. Oh, it's the chimney sweep set from Mary Poppins. Three main appliances. Refrigerator, sink, range, with counters in between and storage cabinets above and below. This is the basis for every good kitchen. Well, they almost got a Tetris on the right over there. Of course, how you vary your refrigerator center or your sink center, or your rain center, depends only on your own needs and preferences and the size and shape of your planning space. And what everybody else and today, has. There's so much to choose from. 
cabinets, a wide choice of steel cabinets with special storage and filler pieces available to make them adaptable to any kitchen plan. You know, when your kitchen design starts to look like the credits to Vertigo, you might want to Counters, go back to bed. Sinks and sink tops, a great variety of standard arrangements designed to fit every individual need. Remember that when it comes to consumer Appliances, goods, just because you've never had it before doesn't mean you don't need it now. Choose from virtually all offering automatic performance. They sing? Yes, Edie. Today there's everything you need for a personalized kitchen. Your own dream kitchen. Just like we told you to dream about it. There's almost too much choice. It's confusing. I hardly know where to begin planning. <laughs> you want well, me to vote in elections lady. and plan a kitchen? Really don't you know I only have a little lady brain? For instance, you don't have to start your plan with a sink under a window. The sink can often be part of an island in the center of the room. You don't have to line your walls with cabinets or use all closed cabinets. Just plan the storage you actually need where you need it. And if you haven't run out of money, you're side, not finished. Use a double sink if necessary. Separate sinks if possible. And plan a sit-down workspace within reach of the sink. And do use an automatic dishwasher, preferably built in. Your husband will probably appreciate it almost as much as you. Ha! Huh, who are we kidding? Finally, he doesn't appreciate as much you. Lighted continuous counter space as possible. Also, make sure your refrigerator door opens away from any adjacent counter. See if you can find one that opens There's inward. More to planning, of course, but that's the general idea, Edie. Got it? You, your family, your kitchen. Or your life. Half the battle is... It's a G.I. Joe PSA. Edie, what's the matter? It's just impossible, that's all. What is? For me to ever have the kind of kitchen I want. Half the battle is simply knowing how to plan exactly what you want. And we've covered that. You that's harpy. Just the point. How can I possibly remember it all? Sure, I made a few notes. Oh, she's starting to come down. No, even they're gone. <laughs> Did he just cackle? Your notes, Edie? Here they are. Ninja narrator. Take a look. It's the other answer, Edie. Everything we've talked about, and a lot more, is right here. If you're going I, to be I don't remember this room, harness, but why not be why, what would I be doing in... Oh, my. Oh, Mother's little helper is wearing off. Where's my purse? So that's what happened. And here I am, wide awake at 1.30 a.m. You know, the insomnia might have something to do with the fact that your clock is as loud as a dot matrix printer. Oh, surely it was just a dream except for this. This is not a plot contrivance. In the 1950s, consumer brochures were actually placed in drawers while people slept. Uh, sweetie, you might want to take off the makeup if you don't want to wake up with a pillow that looks like the Shroud of Turin. I don't remember there being a whole lot of steel in that kitchen specifically. Is U.S. Steel just up in people's business? Alright. Thanks for watching. <laughs>